Hey everybody, how's it going? John here. All right, I'm back with another full self-driving beta video. Thank you so much for tuning in. It is the day before Thanksgiving. I am here with 10.69.3.1. Elon Musk just mentioned to Omar on Twitter that we should be getting version 11. At least some people outside of the employees at Tesla should be getting version 11 here before Thanksgiving. I am a little bit pessimistic that I'll be in that group. Although I think I may have moved up the queue maybe because of my videos. I have no idea. As far as I'm concerned, it's completely random how they're pushing out these software updates. But I am being told by a lot of people on Twitter recently that nobody has the camera button anymore with 10.69.3.1. I still have it. So you can see up in the top of my screen, it is there. And that what that means is I can provide feedback when the system malfunctions or there's some issue that occurs so that is a nice thing to have available but i think tesla was getting overwhelmed with footage coming in from people there are a couple times where i've just repeatedly pushed the button because i get so frustrated like one example is coming out of this neighborhood i'm going to turn it on i've taken the car here to this burrito place i'm going to grab a, a quick bite to eat here i've taken it to this place a couple times but the beta keeps increasing in versions and it doesn't make sense to post an old video on an old release so i'm going to do it again but both times before it would fail miserably getting to this restaurant there was one time it took a back road another time it tried to do a u-turn unsuccessfully i got honked at okay now it's getting over now it needs to get over again okay so it's it's gonna do it but just really really cutting it close i'll tell you and wow, really, really, really smooth there. I'm being sarcastic. It just cut across two lanes. Can it do the U-turn? That is the question. In the past, it would say unable to complete maneuver, and it would ask me to do it. Now, we have an, an extra challenge here with these utility vehicles on the left of the road. Slowing down, left turn signal goes on, nobody behind us, kind of going into the right lane. Just, someone just honked at me. They thought I was going to be turning into their lane. So it, the left turn signal, unable to complete maneuver, please assist now. So it's saying turn left. And my car it started going in the right lane and it freaked someone else out. I am in a driveway and I'm going to pull out and the tentacle is indicating it's going to go right. That's where we do need to go. So I'm going to swipe this all the way over to the right and double tap down. Here we go, guys. All right, off to a good start. That's what we need to do. So I did turn off the hyper smooth algorithm on my GoPro. I keep having the GoPro that it will freeze up on me. So I don't know why it's doing that, but it continues to be an issue. Uh, somebody, so I do have the uh, navigation on here. So to turn that off, basically you come over here and you go into the settings and you have to do this tactfully <laughs> because the driver monitoring system is tracking what you're doing so i'm putting some force on the steering wheel right now and waiting here for a good opportunity and there we go i'm going to mute the navigation so we don't have that screaming in our ears the whole time here okay perfect so now we are off and uh as i mentioned i, I was just going to give you a quick little rundown of kind of my experience here using beta this latest version so i was one of the first ones to get this release which is very unusual previously I would be one of the last ones to receive the updates. In fact, I would, wouldn't would even get updates at all. I would get skipped. I did hear that they're rolling out 10.69.3.1 across Canada a little bit more widely, which is fantastic. But my experience has shown that there's quite a bit of delay on the screen. Uh, it seems there's a bug with the buffer uh, where, the, where the screen will just kind of lock up and it'll, it'll actually everything will disappear. The sh all the elements, the cars, they'll all disappear and then come right back again. And I did uh, show that in my previous video, but I was taking it around the other night and it it got really, really bad. I mean, it was just like buffer overload nonstop and it would continually uh, disappear all the elements on the screen. So you can see a lot of data here, all these cars in this parking lot. So this is where I went crazy and reported it like a thousand times. Watch this, guys. There's a stop sign right here. It's not facing us, but once again, it's slowing down. So here we go, 28, 25. So now this car is going to get confused. They're, they're thinking I'm stopping. Cars behind me are wondering what I'm doing. So I'm going to report that again. Continues to be an issue there. So 
So uh, just a sign of regression possibly could happen here is when we turn right onto Higgins. So I'm on Golf Road and just slow down for that car there really nicely all on its own. Needs to get over right now. It previously would miss this. Okay, see now look, it indicated it was gonna get over to the right and now it's taking too long and it's getting over to the right way too late. It is a green arrow, now we can go. So we got lucky, there was nobody to our right. So it was able to do that, but again, it it was late to get over into that right lane. Disappointing there, that has continued to be an issue. I had a lot of issues back when, on 10.3, 10.5, and you know, all those versions where it would just completely miss the turn. Thankfully, it hasn't done that in quite a while, but that, that lane selection at that particular area is always a little bit off. So it is saying that we're gonna be turning right on Plum Grove Road. Now that is not correct. So I'm wondering if it's taking us to the right restaurant. <laughs> okay, wow, okay. Every This is the third time I've taken it to this restaurant and every time it's routed me differently. So it is doing some really funky things. So we can actually turn left here prior to get in. It's an interesting entrance. It's not that easy to get into, I, I will give it that. but the selection of how it's getting there has changed every single time. So here it's actually having me go right and then do a U-turn and then turn left. So not really the ideal situation, but we're gonna see how well it does it here. And this is, you know, again, I'm in the Northwest suburbs of Chicago and I've been testing this since October 24th, 2021. And every single time it goes through this Roselle intersection, it slows down. Okay, well, that truck is turning right, so we didn't get to really see it there. Uh, and it seemed to go through it just fine. Okay, now here the screen is doing this unusual buffer thing again. So you see how everything just disappeared? Now watch, it freezes for a little bit, comes back. So this seems to be a persistent bug. Uh, now, my car goes into a deep sleep in the garage when I'm not driving it and you would think it would kind of clear out the cache and refresh all the memory, but it doesn't appear to be doing that. So I have not purposefully reset the car, and to do that, you hold down both scroll wheels. I haven't done that. Maybe that would fix this, but watch, you'll see it here happen again. So once it happens once, it's like it's struggling. It's like, oh my, I overload, overload, overload. It just can't keep up with the amount of data coming into it. Now, has that affected the way that it drives? No. I think it's just a visualization bug. If it was affecting the way that it drove, I'm pretty sure that Tesla would not have released this as widely as they have. So coming up here, Plum Grove Road, and then, like I said, it's doing this unusual right before it can go left. Okay, so getting in the right turn lane and 99.9% .9 sure it's going to fail on this U-turn attempt. And, okay, it is a red light. Okay, it's stopping, thankfully. Okay, good, that was really well done. So you, you could go right there, and it did come to a stop. It was at the right spot, and then I was getting over very appropriately. Now here's where we have to do a U-turn. Let's see if it can do it. Okay, so nobody behind us making me uneasy. It says, unable to complete maneuver. Please assist now. Okay, so that's fair enough. I'll take over. And we'll just go ahead and initiate the U-turn. And I'll accelerate forward. And we are gonna have to turn left, so I'll just give it a, a nudge to make sure it can get over here all on its own and then turn it back on. So it, it applied the brakes and everything right in time to slow down and we are now turning left. It is actually having me go straight here, which is really weird. Uh, maybe I'm mistaken. Oh no, it is having us go left. I got a little bit confused there. From here, it should be okay. So it'll turn left and then turn right into the parking lot and we should be able to get to the restaurant just fine. But yeah, I mean that for the third attempt it didn't it didn't succeed. You know, it couldn't pull off that U-turn. Was not surprised by that. U-turns are not really built into the software at this point. 
as well as a lot of other things for anybody who is not aware it cannot process do not turn on red signs and a number of other things you t excuse me um, roundabouts seem to be a little bit more polished from what i've heard i haven't tested roundabouts with this latest version yet okay so now we need to get over to the right as quickly as possible it could actually fail at this if it doesn't go fast enough okay thankfully we got lucky with the traffic behind us but yeah just really awkwardly cutting across those lanes and slowing down if someone had been behind us that would have been really really once again awkward is the phrase of the day uh, so we are here and i'm gonna have to take the phone off of my window so i can roll it down to order here so thanks a lot for watching guys we'll see you in the next video have a great day and have a great thanksgiving